Hello, I am Larry Weinberg, the Rum River Arts Center Director. This may be your first project or you've done several in the past. This is going to be a quick tour of RRAC and what we have to offer you as a participant, volunteer, and maybe even as a donor. Our mission at the Rum River Arts Center as a 5013 nonprofit organization is to make a difference through art, being a welcoming and inspiring environment for artists of all ages. So you can explore your creativity through our classes, collaboration, and partnerships in the North Metro. Our history is that we began in 2009 as a small 500 square foot studio and have expanded to well over 5,000 square feet. We have many different areas that is like a maze here at the Rum River Arts Center. We're located in a historic milk factory along Rum River in Anoka. We have several programs and partnerships that we do with kids, teens, adults, older adults. We have a new ceramic program that with wheel and handbill pottery where we have a whole community of potters that have started here. We have summer camps, we do programs with the libraries, with the school districts and the local communities in the North Metro. We have several different mediums that we use here at the Art Center, drawing, acrylic painting, watercolor painting, mixed media, hand-built pottery, wheel-throwing pottery, mosaics, polymer clay, we do stained glass, and many more. One of the big programs we do at the Art Center is our summer art camps. And in 2021, we're expanding the program to include older adults with five or six new camps that are geared just to older adults. We have over 40 different programs for kids, and they can be either half day or all day. Since we're a nonprofit or art center, we depend on you to help us run the organization. We need donations, we need volunteers, it all makes a difference. We are 95% funded by people like you by taking classes or making donations. Both monetary and in-kind donations are able to keep the art center thriving in any time. You can donate online. You can uh, come in and visit us. All donations are tax deductible. Please enjoy the class. And it says it's 10 a.m. So I think we're gonna get started, guys. Um, we're gonna be talking a little bit about penguins. Uh, I know I love penguins uh, and it was kind of one of a perfect kind of thing to do for a holiday. It's getting cold. But one of the nice things is I've noticed that there's people joining us, not just from Minnesota. We're up here in, in Anoka, but we've got people joining us from all over the country and even some people from other parts of the world. And that's kind of one of the fun things about virtual classes is that uh, people can join in from wherever they're at. And so uh, what we're going to be doing is once every uh, once a month on the third Saturday of the month going forward, we're going to do a free family art day virtually until we can meet in person again. So uh, next uh, one will be in January and you can look at our website to find those. So we're gonna have those coming up. So without any further interruptions, I'm gonna get started and I'm going to move my camera to our project. So um, our project is gonna be these Fun penguins. I'm just gonna, as I'm doing this, I'm gonna admit a few more people. So we're gonna be doing a step-by-step -step drawing of these penguins, and it's gonna be about shapes. We're gonna be working with shapes, and we're gonna be drawing, and we'll take it nice and slow, nice and easy. Now, first thing I wanna do is I wanted to talk a little bit about penguins. So I am going to come over to my penguin. Let's see if I can do this. And I'm gonna show you uh, do a little quick, uh, um, all right. Now this is an emperor, em, this is awfully cute, I know, emperor penguin uh, with its babies. And let's see if I can. And they're all from uh, the Southern Hemisphere. Penguins are in the Southern Hemisphere. And here's a couple of uh, chin strap penguins, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. They're having a little conversation there. That snow looks very cold. 
Oh, that's awfully cute. Uh, a couple of penguins here. I knew what these were, now I can't remember their names. Uh, emperor penguins with their baby. That's a chubby baby, isn't it? Hey, Larry, I think that we can just still see your workspace. You cannot see the, you're not seeing this? Okay, thank you. Let me, I appreciate that. You're just seeing the workspace and We're going to share screen. I appreciate your help. Thank you. I thought I was doing so well. <laughs> I was close, right? There we go. Now, can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Great. Thank you. So I'm just going to uh, show you the penguins again. This is the two emperor penguins with their baby. I'm going to go back because there's some. Okay, here we go. This is the emperor penguin uh, with babies. And one, two, three, got yeah, five. Here's a couple talking. And these are the chin strap penguins that we're going to be drawing today. And you can see they've got tails, flippers, wings. They're wingless birds. Very cute one here, guys. Penguins, very. And here's the two emperor penguins with their chubby little baby. And this gives you some idea of a different types of penguins. Now, uh, the chin strap penguin is the one right up here yeah, that yeah. we're looking at. And then there's macaroni. Penguins, those are the ones with the big eyebrows. Um, there's the um, king penguin. Yeah, we did see some of the king penguins. Um, emperor penguins over here. Rock hopper penguins, they're pretty cute too. They have the big eyebrows also. So these are some of the different penguins. And then we also, here's the different size of penguins here, guys. You, so you can see. Uh, the emperor penguin, of course, is the biggest, the king. Um, macaroni and the Adelaide are some of the smaller penguins. And here again is some of the different sizes. So you can see the chin strap is about 70. Uh, yeah, I'm not good with meters. Uh, the over three feet is the king penguin, so almost four feet tall. Uh, the king penguin goes up to about three feet. So you get kind of an idea of the different sizes of the penguins. And I think, okay, I'm going to stop my share and we're going to start our project. So if you had just come in, one of the things we want to do is get drawing paper, pencil, and eraser. And I'm going to be using, most of you are going to probably use a number two pencil. And I would be typically drawing very lightly, but so if everybody can see it, I'm going to be drawing hard. I'm going to make my lines very deep. Now, when I draw, I typically draw very lightly. I'm going to show you. I was just kind of practicing. So I would start very lightly like that for a project, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we want to put our name. I've got my name and the date. So put your name, not Larry, whatever your name may be. Put uh, the date, which is 12 5 20. Jan excuse me, don't push it. December, we're trying to get rid of 2020. December 5th, 2020. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing, and I think if you saw the board, we're going to be working with the elements of art of line, shape, texture, and perspective. Now, we're going to be drawing these lines. But we're going to start with some shapes. Now, it's important because, as you can see, I've got some little penguins in the background. They're going to be drawn the same way as we're drawing the big penguins, okay? And we're going to start with kind of a circle or oval shape. So what I'd like to do is kind of come over here and make 
a shape like this. And I'm going to make it a little bit darker so you can see it. I'm making kind of a U shape here. Okay. So this is going to be the taller penguin. We're going to be doing a smaller penguin. I'll make it do another U shape just so you get an idea right about there. Okay. So we should start out with just two of the shapes so we kind of get the idea of where our penguins are going to go. Now, the next thing we want to do is we're going to make this kind of oval shape for the body. I'm going to come over here. And you can see I'm doing it light to start with. I'll do it a little bit harder so you can see it. So a lot of times I look at what is the proportion. So the head is this size. The body is going to be about twice the size of the head. So I take my shape of my head like that. I go one, two, and that gives you how big the body should typically be. Now, when we're dealing with babies, it's more like a one-to-one -one ratio. But with adult penguins, it's going to be a ratio of the size of the head times two is going to be the size of the body. So is everybody good with getting our head and body? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to continue to work on the big shapes first. Then we'll come and we'll start working on um, all the, the, the pieces and making, giving it details. So I'm going to come over here and I want to create kind of a tail. So I'm going to come off there for a tail. And it, you can see it's kind of a triangle shape. I'm going to add, I'm going to start with kind of two lines over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create its wing. And it's kind of a tear shape, tear drop, tear, I'm going to have trouble talking this morning, tear drop shape. So I come over here and I'm just going to come in and come to kind of a point here. And you can see what I like to use, I use these feather lines. I'm just kind of coming in with a feather line. And I'm coming in with the shapes. And then I'm going to come in. With another wing on the other side. Okay, so we should have a head, a body, tail, two wings. Even though they're more fins and paddles than wings because they can't fly, but they use them. So then I'm going to come over here with two little lines like this. And that's going to be for his foot. Now this is the front foot, the foot closest to the eye. And then we're just going to come down, and I'm going to come out with some lines like that. And I'm not really, I'm just kind of giving it a shape. I don't want to get into a lot of detail. The reason we don't want to get into a lot of detail at this point is we want to rough out our drawing. We want to get all the shapes in there. We'll get both penguins in, and if we like where the penguins are in their shapes, then we come back and we'll start adding details at that point. If you start getting into a lot of details early on, you're just not going to spend the time to work on changing some of the bigger shapes that you want to work on. So I'm coming over here with this line, and I'm coming down, and I'm going to come out with this other I'm just coming out with these lines, one, two, three, four lines like that. So if you're thinking about this, this is the same process. No matter how many, how many uh, penguins we make, we're going to be going through the same process of these shapes, the round head, the oval body, the tail, the wings, the feet. 
that will repeat up here as we do some of our fun little uh, baby or uh, penguins in the background. So now, before I get into any more details with this guy, I'm going to start with his wife. I think they're married. I'm going to say they are. Mr. and Mrs. Penguin. So I'm going to start over here. And I'm going to be doing this oval. I come up and the oval is going to be kind of coming like that. Just like that. So I'm making it right over there. So we have a head now that we started with. Kind of the oval of the body. And then we're going to put the two lines right here. I can see that I've, uh, see I have to uh, remember to see if there's people that still want to join in here. So then what we're going to do is we're going to do his wing, her wing, sorry, her wing. Okay. And then I'm going to come over and make a tail, triangle, so you can see kind of there. She's kind of, he's looking at her and she's going to be looking at us as we do this. And we have just one kind of foot coming out. So I'm going to come out here with just a line like that. Okay. I just want to make sure everybody is comfortable here with this. We've got, we've got our, Male penguin up here. We got our female penguin on this side over here. I can see people are still drawing a little bit. Now, what I'm going to be doing is that, okay, I'm, I'm kind of happy with these shapes. So now I'm going to be, I've got my trusty eraser. I'm going to be erasing some of the stuff when I start going here, but I'm going to start with this penguin over here, okay? So I'm gonna be starting, and I'm gonna be looking at this shape here, I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna be looking at, do I have the right kind of shape? And what I'm gonna, the first thing I will start with, with is, will be his eye. So I'll come in and do his eye, and his eye is gonna be right about there, and then I'm gonna come, and I wanna make this a little bit more coming out, so I'm coming. So let's get it an eye and give him an eyeball so he doesn't kind of freak us out too much. And what we're gonna be doing next is we're gonna take a look and you can see the shape here is rounded. So what I do here is I'm going to come with this kind of C shape right here, this little bit of a C right like that. Okay, it's a little curved line. And this is coming right off of the top of our oval. And then I'm going to come with its beak. I'm curving the line there. So that's line number one. See if I can, okay, so I come, okay, and then I see that this line, the beak comes back to that line, so I come from right here, and I come back, so we have the line of the head, as you see, it comes down like that. Then we come back to where our C was. And then from that C, I'm gonna kind of come over here to do the bottom, and I just kind of bring in this part like that for its beak. 
So I came for the top of the beak, I came back, but for the bottom of the beak, I come kind of from his neck and I come a little bit underneath. He's got a little bit of an overbite. And he's got a little bit of a nostril right there. So as we're looking now, one of the things you're going to see is that as I'm looking at this, it comes right there. I'm going to start adjusting. I'm going to come. I'm going to leave my line so you can kind of see. So here's my original head right there. So now I'm coming out a little bit like that. You're seeing how that works. Now we're going to start over here. We're going to come back and do more work on the head, but I want to get the rest of the body kind of put together here. So I'm going to come and I'm coming down. And you can see, here's my original line right here. I'm kind of coming here and giving him, as you can see, his back kind of comes out like that. So I want to come out, out, and then down. So I'm just kind of adjusting my lines just a little bit. And then what I can do is I'll go in and I'm going to erase a few of my lines here, just so you can kind of see it a little better. And there we are. And then I'm going to continue down with this side, and his body is going to come, and it's coming down, and I'm just kind of following this. There we go, over to there. It goes behind in front of this leg here and behind that one. So I'm going to erase this a little bit there. You can kind of see that. All right. Now we've got the start of a pretty good penguin. So now we have to give him his markings. So now that we have the body, we should all be kind of at that point where we have the body of our first penguin kind of all pretty well done. So what I want to do is come over here and I'm going to come right from the beak like this and I'm going to come like this and I'm making this and I'm going to come down to his neck. All right. So you're kind of seeing that shape and I'm going to use my pencil just so you can get an idea. I'm going to lightly shade in this area. And if you're doing this project at home, you don't have to, I'm, this is going to be, so you can see where the markings are of this penguin. Not so much that you need to do this at this point because you probably want to maybe color them. You might want to end up giving them a scarf or something fun for the holidays. So I'm going to come over here now. This line is for his markings here. So you're going to see I'm coming not quite to the edge. I'm going to come in and I'm going to be following this down. And this, again, and I'm doing this so that you can kind of see what the shading is going to look like as far as it goes here. Now, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to take a look at my wing and I'm going to adjust it a little bit, bring it up a little bit here and a little bit there and it's going to be, I'm going to just shade it in a little bit just so you get the idea that the wing is also with the chin strap penguin has shading or black in this case. And it's got shading coming through part of the body there. And of course, this is the other
So there we have the shading for our penguin, male penguin. Now their beaks, if you remember, they're different colors, but for the chin strap, they're pretty much a, a dark black uh, beak. And the emperor penguin was a bit more orange. Now when we get over to this, his feet, what we're gonna do is they have web feet. So I took these lines over here, and what I'm going to be doing is just webbing them by making a little bit of V in each one of these and bringing it back. Okay, I'm going to do that again just so you can see it. So you come in with your pencil. We made the four lines. We just kind of come in with some Vs and then come back. And we've got his web foot there. And we'll do the same thing over here. We've got our web foot. I see that he's got some markings right over here too, but you guys can kind of have some fun with yours. So we should be almost done then with penguin number one. How's everybody doing? Just gonna kinda, you give me a thumbs up if you're all ready to move on to Penguin 2. Get a thumb, I, I see a thumb. I see uh, Niles shaking his head. Brenton says yes. I get some thumbs up. That's looking good, guys. Very nice. I see the Osborne there, very nice. That's a cute dog, Denise. Awesome. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my speaker mode, guys, and I'm gonna start working on penguin number two. So, I think penguin number two is cuter anyhow, but uh, uh, what I'm gonna be doing is that we've got the shape and what we want to do is we're going to start instead of kind of with the eyes i want to do kind of this v and the v comes i'm going to it's kind of this point like this where we're coming over you see how it's kind of like almost how sometimes we draw birds you do this kind of shape like that that really allows you to set up how this penguin's going to look because the eyes will sit right underneath that. So start over, I come from one side, come into the center of the head, come over to the other side. Everybody cool with that, yeah, awesome. Then I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to do some circles right here. One, two. So everybody should have the V kind of, the rounded V. I've got to give her some eyeballs here. And then I'm going to adjust her head a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, come over. So I'm looking at her. You can see I'm uh, gonna continue adjusting. Now, the beak, what we wanna do is right underneath the V, you can see it's like this, it's the shape, it's this rounded shape. So what you wanna do is just come in kinda over like that, just kinda this nice little frowny face. It's an unhappy face, it's a curve down. And then we're gonna just make it into a triangle like that. So now she's not really frowning anymore. Now, as you can see, what we want to do next is her shape, as I'm looking at this, it comes like this, so it comes out. So I'm going to adjust it a little bit by coming over.
and my shape comes more, you can, you can see how this shape is. It comes out and then it comes almost straight across like that, which I've done. So as we're looking at this, we want to come down, we come down and then straight across. And then what we want to see is that her head, as I'm looking at this, is going to be like that. So I'm just kind of adding a little bit of, and then I'm going to add a little line right here underneath. Now for her wing, you can see we have this wing right here, but what it really does, it starts at her shoulder. So what we're going to be doing is we're following this line right here. And I'm going to be coming out like that. So you can see what I did is I came from right like that, almost the edge there, come over, and then where it attaches to the wing that we've already started. And this is going to be more rounded like that. There we go. So as we're coming like that. So then we're going to come right off the back of her head. Does everybody have that wing? So when you're looking at this wing, this is her shoulder. So we have this shoulder and then we have her wing. And it's again that teardrop. So we're repeating these same shapes over and over again. Now, to finish up the, her back, you can see this line kind of comes out a little bit. So let's follow that. And it's got this nice kind of round. I like how it's rounded right here. So I'm going to just kind of round out like that. There we go. And she's kind of looking at it. It's like, what, what, what do you want? What are you looking at? Okay, so let's look at her foot and it's coming right underneath. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna come out like this. We have this one line here and then we're gonna come back. With her foot. And just kind of clean this up a little bit. So it comes back and rounded, and you're gonna see that it's underneath. So you can kind of see that better with all my scratch marks there. So we should have our two penguins. I'm gonna go back and add some details to the mom penguin here. So what I want to do next, guys, is I want to come back and kind of look that making sure the head, the shape of the head, I'm going to shade this in so you can kind of see where her markings are, which are a little bit different than his. I'm going to erase a little bit here because this should be. coming over and her markings continue down her back. So we're going to see that the markings, I'm just going to kind of draw this line right next to, and it comes down. And then this is all black and again her wing is going to be back black so I'm just doing the the wing there black like that and she's got a little bit of dark line coming there Feet, they're going to be orange, or at least yellowish orange. They're quite bright. 
if we remember what we looked at the pictures, we can revisit some of the pictures as we get done there. So if you want to see some of the details there. Now I'm just erasing a little bit of this so I can work on my background next. And I'm just going to check to see how everybody has done with penguin number two, mom penguin. I'm going to check on my artists here. Give me a thumbs up if you're pretty good with uh, penguin number two. Yep, I'm getting thumbs up. I see that. Thank you. Awesome. Niall, you got it? I see your thumb. Thank you. Perfect. You guys are really good. Terrific. Okay, I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you how I'm going to kind of do a little bit of perspective here and create a background for our drawing that we've worked on. Trying to get some of my crumbs off of here of my drawing. And what I want to do is the first thing is I'm going to do kind of what's called a horizon line. And the horizon line is this line right here where it's an imaginary line where the sky meets land. That's our horizon line. So I'm going to come right about over here. It doesn't have to be straight across. Okay. So I'm just kind of coming with my line to start with right there. Everybody's got this kind of nice. And then I want to create a little bit of perspective. So I'm going to kind of come somewhere. No, that's not where I want it. I can tell that's not a good spot. I want to come a little bit farther over here. Come down. And then I'm going to change this and come up. So I started with my horizon line. But I'm just kind of altering it a little bit. The second thing I want to do before we do much more el else with other penguins is I want to create kind of uh, the idea of ice, a sheet of ice. And maybe that this is a melted area or they're on a little uh, area in front. So I'm going to come and this this line here. So what you want to do is you want to come with a line and it's not going to be totally straight. It's going to be kind of a V. So I'm doing this kind of V right there. So guys, go ahead and do a little V. And then I want to come straight down from the V like that, the little line. So you have the V and then the little line coming down from the V. And then we're just going to kind of come, and it doesn't have to be exact. And I'm creating my ice. And then I'm going to figure where my ice is somewhere back here, maybe. I'm going to do a little line there. So we're creating the illusion that there's a sheet of ice behind them. And now it's going to come. I'm going to come with more of a little V like this. So I come down. And I'm going to come down with a line and I'm going to come with my and then I'm going to have this line kind of just going right in together with it. So it looks like it kind of disappears. Now this one, I don't like this one here, so I am going to change this one. This one needs to come more straight across like that. There we go. So by doing that, we've kind of created a little bit of a middle ground. And then we have a little bit of a background. And here's our foreground up here. Now I'm going to use, see if I got a, a, a pencil that I can use for drawing my penguins here. So I'm going to try this. A lot of times you guys are using two Bs, but I just want to make sure that you can see this. So what I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to come back here and draw some penguins. And I'm going to be using the same idea that we had used before. Okay. And it's, it's the circle for the head and the oval for the body. So I'm going to make these 
a lot smaller. And this is in, uh, we're, we're looking perspective and proportion. So these are far away. If they're really far away, they're gonna be really small. If they're closer, they're gonna be a little bit bigger. So you can decide how big you want them. I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger so you guys can see them. So I'm gonna start with a circle. I'm gonna to have to do it with my dark pencil. Circle, oval. Okay, and then I'm gonna do triangle for the beak. And I'm trying to remember the same proportion. The oval should be twice the size as the circle. And I'm gonna do another one here. Circle, oval. And the beak be coming over, so they're talking to each other, so it's that way. And I'm just gonna kind of color them in here. I'm gonna do another one back here. I'll do one a little bit farther forward. It's gonna be a little bit bigger this way. Now, by making these small like I'm making, that pushes this background way back. It pushes it back because it makes it appear the illusion that it's farther away. Speak. Okay, I've got his wings. There we go. So as you can see, I'm working, almost losing my last penguin there. Move it so you can see him. There he is. He's right over here. Now you can do as many penguins as you want. Maybe I'll do one more up here. The farther penguins are gonna to have to be smaller though, aren't they? Because they're farther back. Now if we had a penguin over on this side and we wanted it to be bigger, we'd come over here like this. So I'm gonna make this one bigger. I do my circle, my oval, tail, so we can, you can see by doing that I've created that this over here is closer to these penguins, these are farther away. And you can decide exactly how you want your background. Coming over like that. I'm just gonna check to see how everybody is doing here with our penguins. Thumbs up, thank you, Gwen. Brenton, yeah, awesome. Everybody, good, good. So at this point, I'm gonna let you guys kind of add some of your details. Um, one of the things I was gonna show before I kind of get into anything else is I wanted to give, what happens if we wanna give somebody like a scarf, right? So I was gonna take a look a little bit at giving my mom penguin a scarf. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna come over, if I can do this, maybe I should do it with a Sharpie so you can kind of see it. I'm gonna do it with my pencil. So I'm gonna erase a little bit here, but I'm gonna just come over like this around her neck. Okay, so I've just kind of come around, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase what's underneath there, and then I'm gonna come, I'm gonna bring my scarf over, and another one under. 
here. And mine's going to be striped. Now you don't have to add a scarf to your penguins, but it is kind of fun to add little details like this. Now if I wanted to add a hat to her, I'm going to just kind of come over. As you can see, I come from outside. I'll raise the top here. And I want it to be coming, following the contour of her head. It's got kind of one of those furry ones there. And you can see how we can kind of create the little hat for our penguin there. You can do the same thing now. If you want to, we can add, you saw that the little baby penguins, there's room for a baby penguin if you want. There's lots of things you can add to your drawing at this point. Um, if you want, this is kind of one of those things where we can add some color. And I'm just gonna show you how I typically would do it, I like, now we use these little uh, uh, palettes. These are, I think this is a Yarka palette that I got from Dick Blick. But these are kind of a um, fairly, a good quality watercolor that is not terribly expensive. So one of the things I would do is then I would just start adding some of these. I'm going to add a little background, make it kind of a nice uh, uh, blue sky. So I'm going to get it nice. And so when I'm doing watercolor, just to get kind of a thing, I'm going to take the, the paint so you can kind of see here. I'm mixing it up here, getting it wet, and I'm going to mix it onto the top here. And I want it to be very kind of just... light shade because then I can come and I don't want to start too dark so I'm just going to kind of come in here now if you have colored pencils same thing you want to do things in layers layers you want to come light to start with it doesn't matter if we're doing it uh, um, with uh, watercolor or with uh, uh, pencils or paint, any kind of paint, you're always gonna kind of do it in layers. You come one layer over another. Now, if I wanted to add some background gray for maybe just making the uh, snow not so, I'm just gonna white, I'm gonna just make it very watery here. I'm just kind of come over with just a little bit of color. And I'm going to just kind of blot it in there because the snow, it's kind of nice and glittery there too. I can kind of just do a little bit of, and then I can use, you can color in uh, however you want with your, I'm gonna turn my hat orange here. A nice red. And I'll match it, he'll have a matching scarf. She, she, sorry. Get a little bit festive there with her uh, scarf. Now, since I've got my orange, I might as well just kind of go give work on the feet.
and you can kind of just work with these little I'm always working with my little palette here as you can see just kind of giving the get some orange here just a couple back there just to keep the color and if you're doing it I'm going to add my my black for my penguin at this point it's going to kind of come So one of the things I would suggest is just to go ahead, have some fun, color your pictures, make them maybe even a, a, it could be a fun holiday card. But uh, you can draw as many penguins. You can use the same kind of ideas that we use today to create your own penguin drawing or card. But the penguins are fun to draw. And you can see, uh, I gave you kind of an idea how to decorate them also. And I kind of want to see how everybody did and see where you're at. 